You on? Good afternoon. Uh, welcome back to another vlog. Thanks so much for uh, coming back. It's midweek, which is really random because I normally only vlog at the weekends, but I've decided to just pick up my camera. I've just come back from work. Um, I've got a couple of things to unbox and show you. So I just thought I'd pick up my camera and start vlogging. It's a bit of a rare one, um, this one. So just bear with me. <laughs> So I don't know how we're going to get on and what we're going to do, but I seem to be saying that every vlog, but, oh, the, um, oh, f the covers come off the sofa set outdoors. Okay, I need to go sort that out. But yeah, let me just quickly, um, get Sean Jade and, um, yeah, let me just quickly get changed and then I'm going to open, I've had a lovely delivery from, uh, Robinson's in Tyrion's. So I've got to open that. I've also got another little package as well from another company to show you, which was gifted. Hopefully you're all good. Um, thanks for returning. I mean, I don't vlog that often. I try and keep them as regular as possible, but obviously we are adults and life gets a little bit nuts. I do have a full-time job, so I just kind of slot this in as and when I can. But yeah, let me just get changed. I would say into something more comfy, but I am actually very comfortable right now. I've got like a Zara jumper on, little kind of uh, H&M -H cami. I've got calzone leggings on, trainers and socks. So <laughs> couldn't really get much casual really. Um, however, I did pick up this cute little, <laughs> I just did a food shop. Okay, granted, doing a food shop in Tesco's is really difficult because you have to walk past... Oh, I thought I had a car. You have to walk past the clothes to get to the food. And obviously, it's always a bit of a detour. But I bought this little number. You may have already seen it in Tesco's. Um, it didn't come with trousers, which is really annoying because I thought it would be a really cute lounge set. I couldn't find any trousers, but I went for the top. It was only £10. Like, complete bargain. So, um... Let me just change into this. I just need to make sure it fits. Um, I did get a 12 because I wanted it kind of snugly. So um, I'll go put this on and then we can do some unboxing. And it's on. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, this is, I got a 12. It is um, actually really soft. It's really snugly. Um, they must have the trousers. Like some Tesco's or somewhere must have trousers. But for a tenner, I thought, yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm chuffed. Okay, so new top £10 done. Okay, right. So what should I show you first? Right. I'm going to sit down. Let me just rearrange some shenanigans. Um, oh, I also got to put the food shop away. So give me two minutes and um, let me just get a bit more comfortable. And if you're not comfortable, go get a cup of tea or a glass of wine. Okay, so first, is that okay? Is that a good angle? Is that good lighting? Probably could do better. But it will do. So first off, I'm going to show you the package or that I ordered myself from Robinson Interiors. It's a mother and daughter duo. Uh, started, I'm not too sure when it started. I want to say during lockdown time, but I follow Daniela on Instagram on her home account and her and her mum started up with this beautiful brand. Honestly, I haven't bought a lot from them before. But their stuff looks amazing. You know, you just see a shop and you're just like, I'd love to buy from them and then you don't because you're saving money or you've got bits from elsewhere or you don't need anything. Um, but I saw these and they're in the sale and I just had to do it. I just had to. So I haven't even opened them so I have no idea what they're like in real life. But we're going to do an unboxing here with you. Oh, okay. I feel really low down. Let me raise you up. Oh, open, smile, enjoy. Thank you for your order. We hope you enjoy your new purchase. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Mm, that's cute. See, Robinson's interiors, FYI. Oh, oh she's written a little note on it saying, thank, thank you ever, love Daniela. Oh, she's hun, very cute. Okay, so I'm gonna try not to make a mess. Oh, I've made a mess. <laughs> okay, let's delve in. Ooh, <laughs> it's like Christmas. Okay, I haven't had like many deliveries lately. And this is great. Oh, okay, so they're not even in cardboard. Okay, let's hope that they're not broken. Ooh, very fragile. And there should be one more. Aha. So... I saw, as I said, 
these on Robinson Interior's website and I thought they were just absolutely beautiful. Okay, there's part one. <laughs> okay, I need to show you part two, then it will make more sense. It's not just the plates, it's actually, I have a love and I have a little bit of an obsession for coffee. I used to hate coffee. So I used to love the smell of coffee and I used to love the idea of having a coffee. But I never actually liked the taste of coffee and Luke drinks black coffee and he used to always say try it, try it, try it, didn't like it. Then I loved a hot chocolate so he got me to try mocha. So I tried a mocha, very chocolate mocha and I liked it. Then I tried a latte, very like milky latte and I liked it. Then I went on to stronger coffees and flat white and then when I was uh, trying to be good and lose weight I just stick to black coffee. Now I'm coffee obsessed. <laughs> I don't actually like a latte. I much prefer a flat white or a black coffee with a little dash of milk or even just Americano black coffee. So, yeah, so one of the reasons I bought these is because, oh, these are just as nice as I thought. It doesn't even make sense. Just as nice as I thought. You know what I mean. I bought two beautiful, let me see if I can see you in. These are two beautiful textured stoneware cup and saucers and mug and saucers that I thought were absolutely stunning like really stunning they're like brown speckled oh I love them these are gonna be like a weekend coffee yeah these are oh, these are lovely so I got two because I thought I can't just have one okay these make me very happy they might actually be on display because look how beautiful they are it's really hard for you to tell but look at the detailing of the stone they're so nice i will link these below um i don't know whether they'll be on the website anymore i haven't got a clue they were sold out but daniel i managed to get me um some but if you do want to get your own then i will put a link below just get in touch with her or get or, or dm them on instagram and i'm sure they'll be more than happy to help or at least source some if they haven't obviously got any Ooh, let's put these beauties over here like that next to my pumpkin right i'm just gonna lower you for this next unboxing da -da -da. Is that better? Um, oh, that's my hang up from my Tesco's purchase. So next up, we have a delivery. Oh, I've got an offer on eBay. Um, a delivery from a company called Purdy and Fig. I've never heard of them before. They got in touch with me and said they'd like to gift me some of their cleaning products. I've never used them. Since they got in touch with me, I have been seeing their brand more and more and more over social media. So when this arrived, I was really keen to give them a go. This is not, they didn't ask me to post or do anything on Instagram or my YouTube or anything like that. And they just very kindly sent them to me. So it says Pur Purdy and Fig, three simple steps, pour in 20 ml concentrate, fill with tap water, gently shake and spray. So if I open up this, ooh, okay. A little booklet. Welcome to the cleaning revolution. Oh, scent guide. Got a little cleaning cloth saying Purdy and Fig. Very cute and very, very soft. Oh, look, okay. So it comes with a bottle, bottle for life for multi surface cleaning, counter clean. Oh, it's glass. Oh, that's really handy. Okay, a really nice, cute little glass bottle. And it also looks like I've got here three, three different um, scents. So the three that I've got, I don't know whether this is a standard package. I will have a little look and get some more information for you and put it down below. This is Uplifting Citrus, multi-surface cleaner. I've also been given Balance Floral. Just the next one. And then finally, Grounding Velveteer. Oh, I think I'm gonna like that one. Oops, I think I'm gonna like Grounding Velveteer. Okay, let's give these a quick smell. So do you pull the whole bottle in? Pour in 20 concentrate. Oh yeah, you do. Okay, so the whole one of these is for a whole bottle of this and then you just mix it with water. Let me smell. Oh. Oh, I don't really like citrus smells, but that's really nice. That's not actually too strong. Oh, that reminds me of something. OK, 
Okay, I don't know what, but that definitely reminds me of something. Next we have Balancing Floral. Oh, mm, that's lovely. That's quite spa, spa like that one. And then next, Grounding Velveteer. I'm sure it has all the ingredients in here as well. So I'll probably be able to find out for you. Oh, mm. oh, they're good. They're really good. Thank you, Purdy and Fig. So I'll be really excited to try these out. So it comes with a little cleaning cloth scent guide. Oh, look, okay, here we go. Uplifting citrus, the fun and lively one. Balanced floral, the positive and comfort one. Grounding, okay, it's not velveteer. I'm very sorry. It's vetiver, V-E-T-I-V-E-R. Vetiver, vetiver. I now sound French. And this is the calming and confident one. Oh, okay, this is perfect. So I will try this. It says how to enjoy it. Um, all non-toxic cleaner for all surfaces. So wood, floral, counter stone, bath, enamel, glass and mirrors. Um, Purdy and Fig e um, Eco Cleaners don't just clean incredibly well. They don't just reduce your plastic consumption and remove toxic chemicals. They uplift your cleaning experience, transforming it into something you enjoy. That is our mission and now it can be yours too. We hope you enjoy transforming your clean from chore to a pleasure with us and please do stay in touch. Love, Purdy and Charlotte. Co-founders, Purdy and Fig. Amazing. Okay, cool. And I'm going to try this out in my kitchen and just hopefully the whole house will just smell absolutely lovely. Um, I might also clean in here because I can clean um, the, wooden, the wooden table because it says I, I can clean wood. So I will definitely give that a go. Um, I might just put a little few stories on my Instagram too um, to obviously say thank you. And Good little deliveries to come home to. So yeah, we'll chuffed about that. Okay, so next plan now. Um, oh, in my shoes. I've also got meant to be coming, but because of the Royal Mail strikes, um, it might take a while, but I do have my monthly subscription wax melts that are coming from uh, Glass and Wick. So if they arrive when the, I'm still doing this vlog, I will, oh. Oh, was that a hiccup or a burp? I don't know what that was. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but when they arrive, I will show you because their monthly subscriptions are brilliant. You only pay, I think it's £10 a month and you get two full-size packs of wax melts of wax melts um that are picked um by the ceo herself and she obviously at the moment they're coming into autumn winter scent so i think they've got i think i, I want to say it's myrrh and tonka and i love the joe malone myrrh and tonka it's so nice so i'm excited to get those and smell those too um but i need to sort out this packaging i'm not actually going to throw this away because i am selling some stuff on ebay and Facebook Marketplace. So I'm gonna need as many boxes as, as I can. So I am actually gonna keep this packaging because I'll probably need it at some point. I need to go up and finish priming some of our guest room because that is up next, the prime part, and then we can paint. But like I said in my last vlog, that will be all in a completely separate DIY guest room vlog, which is probably gonna be about two hours long at this rate because I'm literally documenting everything. Um, but it means that you get to see exactly from start to finish us doing the guest room. So that's really exciting. Um, I'm just thinking what else have I got to show you? I don't know whether I've got anything else like unboxy to show you. No, I don't think I do. Oh, I do need to put the cover back over the, over my um, mode of furnishing. So do you know what? I'm gonna do that now. I'll do that now and then um, and then we can crack on. Oh, look at these mugs. Oh my God, they're so nice. I'm literally obsessed. <laughs> morning okay i'm running around like a headless chicken because <laughs> okay the lighting's rubbish because um i'm grabbing my shoes and i'm going up to see my mum in suffolk i hate my shoes going to see my mum in suffolk and i think we're going to pop to the suffolk food hall um i'm not too sure really so i'm going to take my vlogging camera whether i vlog or not <laughs> we'll wait and see but the plan is to vlog and to show you some of the stuff at food hall um and the bits that they've got around there at the moment and yeah i thought i'd just um grab my camera take you with me um, and kind of see 
see where it goes really and then I've got to come back and carry on painting so the fun of kind of home renovations <laughs> but um yeah let's go Suffolk Food Hall is always lovely and they've got all their some of their Christmas bits out which you would have seen so that was lovely I did get two things I was being very good I picked up a scotch egg scotch egg for Lou which I want to put straight in the fridge for him for later but I also picked up my first Christmas decoration of 2022 which is this rustic it's and then you can see it's metal Oh, kind of focus. Hello. Here we go. It is a metal star with the real pine cones and faux foliage on a little hook. So it kind of reminds me, it's giving me like white company vibes. But I thought it was really adorable. So I'm going to put this, I'm not actually going to put this away away. I'm just going to put it, hide it in the other room because that will be coming out very shortly. Um, but I'm going to now unwind, pour myself a glass of wine, get myself into some comfies. I'm going to run myself a nice bath and just unwind for the evening until Luke comes home. Um, and then probably just catch up on some TV, have some dinner. Um, I might do a little face mask. Um, and yeah, that's another evening. Yeah, gone. Right, I literally have no... Okay, let, hold on, let me pop you up here. So, I've come back from work and I'm about to finish off priming the panelling, which is looking very nice. And I've got another little thing to unbox with you. So I thought I'd just do it now really quickly. This whole vlog is a bit hickledy pickledy. There's a few unboxings. I obviously went to Suffolk Food Hall. And it's just a little bit all over the place, so just bear with me. I will try and make the vlogs a bit more... What's the word? a bit more organized is that the right word but at the moment they're a bit all over the place but i've just had my monthly i did stop it for a while because i was being good with money but i decided as we're getting into like as it's autumn and getting into winter um i would start off my glass and wick um monthly subscription subscription wax melt so i just want to open these with you really and just show you the sense that I've got, I'm out of breath, I've just run up the stairs. I do this all the time, I go to vlog and I'm like, quick, quick, I'm gonna vlog and then I sit down and I'm like, <laughs> I just can't breathe. So these, these are brilliant because Luke thinks wax melts are a little bit overpowering, but I really like them and I do tend to burn them, mainly when he's not here, because <laughs> he does think they're a little bit too, too strong for him or I'll burn them the first few times and then when they calm down a bit, then I'll like them when he's here. 
But let's see what's on this monthly subscription. It's like a mini little unboxing for anyone who's got this. Um, but they, it is good. Oh, their packaging. Sorry, but Glass and Wick, like she's got her packaging down to a T. Just like I appreciate good photography and good branding. I think good branding goes like such a long way one day i'd love to do like my own branding for what i do but at the moment it's not there but i just really appreciate it and glass and wick is just girl you've got it sorted so as you open first off you have this little welcome card thank you so much for subscribing everything about what this month includes how to obviously use your uh, wax melts um candles all sorts of things and a beautiful autumnal style card which actually would be quite good in a frame you know oh what a good idea i might frame this that would actually look quite nice i like the ribbon and i like this ribbon and i like the twigs <laughs> i might actually frame that exciting um so the ones we have i'm just gonna get them out for you so the first one we have is is myrrh and tonka so this automatically gives me all the autumn vibes oh okay that's very wintry oh that smells gorgeous okay i'm not gonna take it all the way out of the packet because i won't remember what it is Put that in there. let me try and open it Oh, oh, it's very manly. It's very manly, rich. Okay, there's a little bit of a myrrh theme going on. Next one we have is frankincense and myrrh. So this is definitely getting into their Christmas scent range. So I don't know if I've ever, ever had this one before. Oh, oh, that's a nice one. Mm. Okay, both of them are really kind of deep, earthy, warming autumn scents i don't know which one i prefer actually <sighs> oh oh mixing them mm. okay the, the two together are lovely but these are the two that are in the october monthly subscription so yeah they're they're full size i don't know how many you get in a packet one, two, three, four. You get six. Okay, you get six full size wax melts. So they'll, they, I don't burn them all month. So I've got like a whole box full of wax melt, um, um, wax melts from Glass and Wick. They're my go-to. This is where I go for my wax melts. I don't go anywhere else. Um, and she has some amazing, amazing scents. She also has loads of really lovely candles as well. So yeah, if I will link her website and her Instagram and everything down below. So feel free, go and check her out. Go and see the monthly subscriptions are great. She has little wax melt um, tea light pots. They've got candles. She's got everything. And I think I saw her doing a little sneaky advent calendar, a wax melt advent calendar. I think she did a little, like, little preview and it was like a bag and it had loads of like numbers on like 2 10 12 coming to christmas i'm assuming it's an advent calendar which is very exciting so glass and wick go and check them out definitely one to look at um but i need to crack on with painting so i'm going to carry on painting and vlog a bit more for that and i will try and plan my next vlog i'm thinking um doing a come shop with me i've been saying that a few times but i feel like where i live um I'm near kind of near-ish lakeside in Essex and if I haven't thought the Essex accent um and they've just had a massive H&M home open up in lakeside which is oh I love H&M home so I'm thinking of popping in there and vlogging as well as doing maybe Primark um because Primark home stuff is actually really good our Primark home in like lakeside isn't that great but I think maybe H&M home and Promark Primark <laughs> Primark potentially Maybe even home since. They've also got Danielle on B&M, Zara. So they've got blah, blah, blah. Anyway. Um, so I think I'm going to do that. Because one, the Christmas stuff's going to come in. So I'll probably start doing a little bit of Christmas content for November. Um, also, it's good to see what's out in the shops. And sometimes I like sitting and watching people's vlogs of them going shopping and what they get. Um, also, I need to accessorise this room. So I do need to go and look for some new kind of throws and... Um, pots and accessories and cushions and stuff so um yeah i think next time is a come shop with me so 
if I've already filmed it and it's out, go check it out. If I haven't filmed it, then subscribe so you can check it out when it comes out. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's painting for me now and I will see you in my next vlog. Thanks so much for watching. Bit of a weird one this time. Just kind of roll with it. Hopefully you like it. Let me know in the comments and I'm gonna go now. Okay, bye.